Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jason. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys the biggest fault on motion sensors. So these are the motion sensors pretty much everybody has in their house. This one here is a pet motion. You could bypass the bottom half or disable it if you do have a pet, like a cat or a small little dog. This one will work up to a 40 pound animal. This is your typical motion that um, that's used in everyday um, house alarms and commercial alarms as well. So there is three different types of motion sensors. So this is the PIR motion, which is detects uh, something moving and triggers the alarm. It detects more of body heat and anything else. The other one that you have is a microwave sensor. This one here is actually not bad. This one will detect anything that moves. The only downside of this motion sensor is that if you have it pointing towards electronics, it will give you false alarms, like a TV as an example. The best motion sensors, but it, it's kind of costly, is it has both of these combined into one. So it's got the PIR and the microwave built in. It does help on false alarms and it does give you full protection. So that being said, let me demonstrate how easy it is to get by or this type of motion. So let me grab my umbrella and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there you guys have it. It did not trigger the motion at all. You guys can always try it out for yourself. Got an umbrella, put your alarm on and uh, walk through your, uh, your house and see if you could uh, bypass your motion sensor without uh, triggering the alarm. And I'd like to hear it, put it in the comments below. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, please hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching.